This video presents the paper entitled Will Body Control in the Estimation of Human Robots with Link Flexibility Accepted for Publication at Humanoids 2022? When the link of a robot are stiff enough, controller-based or rigid body assumption works fine. However, when the robot is affected by concentrated link flexibility, it is required to design control strategies that consider such elasticity. In this work, we present a whole body controller that allows a robot with flexible links to walk in a rigid environment. The state of the art contains several examples of robots with flexible links. In 2001, Kajita models the compliant material between the robot ankle and the sole. The model is then exploited in 2010 to design a reliable whole body controller for locomotion in human-like environment. Finally, Villa in Humanoids 2022 presented a control strategy that considers the flexibility in the cross-section between the root link and the hip of the Talos robot. These controllers have a common aspect. Indeed, all these methods perform a local compensation of the link elasticity. In this work, we propose a controller that considers a whole body compensation for the elasticity. Moreover, we present a flexible joint state observer, and finally, we validate our approach in simulation on the Talus robot. One of the most common approaches to model a flexible robot is to substitute all the flexible links with a pair of one or more virtual flexible joints and rigid links. In this context, the flexible joints have their own dynamics, composed by two terms, a spring characterized by the parameter k and a damper by the parameter d. Let's now consider a cascade control architecture. We may focus on the inner layer which is in charge to generate the desired common joint torque considering the robot state, robot model, and the contact dynamics. The controller is composed by two blocks. We have a whole body controller itself and a joint state estimator. The whole body controller is an optimization problem where we aim at finding the robot acceleration, the contact forces, and the actuated joint torques while minimizing a cost function composed by several terms. Herein, we consider the torso, the root link, and the joint regularization tasks. Moreover, the optimal control input must satisfy a set of constraints, such that a foot trajectory tracking task, the central momentum tracking task, while considering the multi-body dynamics and the counter branch visibility. The flexibility plays a crucial role in the evaluation of the multi-body dynamics, since the state of the flexible links acts as a parameter in the definition of the dynamics quantities, such that the mass matrix or the Coriolis term. This motivates why we design a flexible joint state estimator. What we propose is a slightly modified version of the recursive newton euler algorithm that considers the actuated joint torques and the counter branches and its output is the flexible joint state. Indeed, once the recursive algorithm has estimated the flexible joint torque, we exploit the flexible joint position and velocity approximation to construct the estimated state. Now we will present you a comparison between the state of the art controller that considers all the robot links as rigid, hereafter called TSD rigid, and the architecture that we propose in the paper, named TSD flex. When the link is sufficiently stiff, TCD rigid performs well, and in conclusion, it is not necessary to design a controller that considers the link flexibility. On the other hand, when link flexibility increases, TCD rigid fails in finding a feasible solution, and the robot falls down, while the controller that we propose is still able to accomplish the locomotion task. We now present you the capabilities of the flexible joint estimator. On the right hand side, 
we show the plot of the estimated flexible joint position, velocity and torque and the associated ground truth retrieved by the simulation. In conclusion, we design a controller that performs a whole body compensation for the link flexibility. The controller is complemented by a flexible joint state observer. In the future, we are planning to test the architecture on the Talos humanoid robot. Moreover, another interesting research direction is to generate the high level commands such that the central mass trajectory while considering the link flexibility. Thank you for the attention. In case you are interested in our work, please do not hesitate to read the paper and contact us.